Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Plus, and welcome back to another episode of Raw, as this is the go-home edition of Raw. And the Tribal Chief have a whole hell of a lot to say here tonight, as this is your go-home edition of Raw, as next week, next stop here in Universe Mode will be Germany, will be the Bay Arena, it will be Raw and Mayhem at the beach. Ladies and gentlemen, your first edition of Raw at the Beach will be coming your way live next Monday, right here on Monday Night Raw, and that'll be followed on the June 7th edition of the Beach episode as we are going live in Mayhem, and it's going to be damn, damn good, but ladies and gentlemen, standing in our face, in our face he is, as our tribal chief is here, and he is here for one reason, and one reason only, and that is to address what went down last week here on Raw, as it was one hell of a main event between Braun Breaker and the man himself, Jacob Fatu, and it was a matchup that ended in a draw because these two men just could not get it together, the chaos just ensued all over the arena, but in the end, it was the bloodline to stand tall on Raw, attacking Braun Breaker, ladies and gentlemen, what we are seeing is the bloodline at its best. What we are seeing is the bloodline at a point in their careers where they cannot be stopped. We are looking at champions on top of champions in the bloodline with the Usos holding the tag team championships, winning their match last week. And then Roman, Roman carrying out Jacob Fatu to pursue dominance in the main event. And as we've seen in the main event, Dominance, well dominance was pursued. Dominance was seen, dominance was sought out to be. And we seen the debut of a Samoan werewolf, a debut that we will be talking about for years and years to come as last Monday's episode of Raw is one of our most highest rated episodes of Raw here in universe mode for season three as that is one hell of an accomplishment to carry out as this, as this season has promised to be the season of greatness, the season of the best of the best. And Roman Reigns, not only has he been carrying out exactly that, but Roman Reigns has been absolutely on top of his game. The big question that a lot of people have had on their mind for the big dog, the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, was if he was even going to wrestle next week at Raw at the Beach, as Roman Reigns said a few weeks ago here on Raw, as we were coming out of the Unforgiven pay-per-view, as we were coming out of the Unforgiven pay-per-view, the King of the Ring, Roman Reigns, with that chip on his shoulder and the championship belt around his waist, said to the entire WWE Universe that he wants to wrestle at Raw at the Beach. He wants to be in Germany, and he wants to be the champion of champions. But Roman laid out an obstacle for the man who challenged him for that championship and Braun Breaker, the young gun, the upstarter, wrestled his ass off last week and although didn't lose, didn't win neither. So a lot of questions have been tossed up in the air when it comes down to Raw here tonight. A lot of questions have been trying to be asked and we can't even answer them because we don't know the answers to these questions. This is why you see the bloodline starting off here on Raw because they have the answers to the questions that we all need. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. As Roman Reigns makes a beeline to the ring, as Roman Reigns stares at the entire WWE Universe, I can only ensure that answers will be given here tonight, as Roman Reigns has not let us down in the past. And I gotta say, it took me a while, but I think I am in all support of our tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Austin, Texas, acknowledge me. Well, this is a problem. It seems like we have a bit of bloodline business to talk about. It seems like last week the task was not complete, but was it failed? I told Jacob Fatu to go out there and hurt Braun Breaker. I told Jacob Fatu to go out there and make sure that Braun Breaker remembers the name Jacob 
Fatu. I, I told Jacob Fatu to go out there and be the true enforcer that the bloodline needs. And if you ask me, he did exactly that. There is no error when you put the hurt on your opponent like you do when you're Jacob Fatu. There is no error when you step into the ring as a member of the bloodline. There is no error when you stand across from a man like Braun Breaker and you break him down so bad. There is no error where at the end of the night, at the end of Raw, my bloodline, my family is staying Oh man, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that Roman Reigns is dogging like never before is here. He is the dog himself. Ladies and gentlemen, Braun Breaker. He is here and he has a microphone in hand. He is ready to go at the WWE Universe and the bloodline is staring down Braun Breaker. Man, oh man, I can only imagine what Breaker has to say to the entire world here tonight. Why don't we cut straight to the point, Roman? Why don't we cut the BS out and we get straight to the point? You see, the problem with you is although you like telling stories, you like talking too damn much. And I haven't been here for a long time, but I've been here long enough for you to know that I am not about talking. I want to wrestle, and I want to wrestle you for the WWE Championship. You told me two weeks ago that I needed to beat Jacob Fatu. You told me two weeks ago that I needed to do what I had to do in the main event last week, and I earned an opportunity at that title. We've seen the outcome. I didn't win, but I didn't lose. So what's it gonna be, Roman? You have the opportunity right here, right now, on Raw in Austin, Texas to make your name known, to really give the WWE Universe what they want, to fight me next week at Raw at the beach. Give me a match, Roman. You know what, Braun? You're on. But let me tell you something real quick. Pipe down, WWE Universe. I got something to say. Because you are definitely right. The world wants to see this match. But just like the world, just like you, next week, I am going to prove to you that you are not ready for the Tribal Chief. And next week, after I beat you, you will acknowledge me. Ladies and gentlemen, Roman Reigns letting exactly it be known and making it official for next week as it will be going down. Roman Reigns versus Braun Breaker, the matchup that everybody wants to see. It's going down next week at Raw at the Beach in Germany as we are going international for the third time here in 2024. And that's not all, as next week we will be seeing Swerve versus Robert Roode in a number one contenders matchup for the Intercontinental Championship, and that'll be going down next week. But speaking of these two men, what's going down later tonight is a face-to-face -face between Swerve Strickland, Robert Roode. Both men will be in the ring, and they will have something to say to each other, but that's not all. From the backlash of last week, Liv Morgan, Tiffany Stratton, one-on-one. -on -one. It goes down here tonight on Raw. And as tag team action's been heating up, ladies and gentlemen, the Undisputed Era are gonna go against the new Catch Republic and inside your main event, it'll be with Osprey, Claudio Castanoli. The rivalry continues later tonight. The entire world wants to know what Robert Roode has to say, and quite frankly, I can't blame you. I mean, I am a generational superstar. When you look at Robert Roode, you think of, what's the word? Gloriousness. You think of elegance. You think of somebody who walks into the ring and well, gets the job done and a man that can be so glorious can also accept where he went wrong and everybody's been talking about it so I'll continue on and I'll add on to it I'll double down on what everybody's been saying I know where I went wrong with LA Knight I got cocky I Robert Roode got cocky but I promise you one thing and one thing only that will not 
happen again because I learned from my losses. I learned last time, and I'll learn this time. And next week, when I go and step into the ring with Swerve, it's going to be no different to how I've beaten people in the past. It is going to be a quick, quick, emphatic victory for Robert Roode because I may have messed up a couple of weeks ago, but when I am on track, when I have a target locked in, I lock in. And there is no amount of Swerve that's going to be able to help Robert Roode, but we'll leave that for the ring later tonight as I will see you out there, Swerve. And hopefully next week, you can back up whatever the hell you're going to say. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out here and ready to go as we are getting to you guys with our first action of the evening as it will be tag team action. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't done so so far, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more as it is the new Catch Republic. And they will be going two on two. With the men themselves in the Undisputed Era's Roderick Strong and Bobby Fish. Now this one is going to be very, very interesting to say the least as we just seen the new Catch Republic wrestle last week to going two on two against our World Tag Team Champions and the Usos. So it's going to be very, very interesting tonight to see not only who was going to walk away with the victory, but also to see... Uh, well, how they will fare as they have been doing what they have to do here in Universe Mode, showing off and showing out. And last week, they put on a pretty good performance against the champions. Now, tonight, tonight they have the opportunity to do it against the Undisputed Era, a team that has been around here in Universe Mode and a team that's been dominant. And, oh, man, every time you hear the system being shocked, the entire WWE Universe just looks in awe as they are not fans of the Undisputed Era. And one man that's made that very, very hard for the Undisputed Era to really uh, cheer for is Adam Cole. As Cole is the leader of the Undisputed Era, isn't coming out here tonight to, uh, you know, team up with these two or to give them any kind of support. It seems like Adam Cole is taking a little bit of rest in the back as he... We'll be going one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk next week at our Raw at the Beach event, and that is set to be one hell of an event. But tonight, his boys step up as they are going to be going against the New Catch Republic as we are still shifting and shaping a tag team division here on Raw and Mayhem. And we are also looking to uh, change the game how we do it. And the game being changed completely as wins and losses do matter here in Universe Mode. They haven't mattered in quite a little bit, but uh, you know the ranking system that's making a bit of a comeback, and they do matter, ladies and gentlemen. And when it comes down to the Undisputed Era, they are looking to rack up their wins here in Universe Mode. You want to talk about the Undisputed Era? Let's talk about them. Last time they wrestled here on Raw was back at Episode 11 as they took on the Los Lotharios. Great competition, great tag team effort, beat Los Lotharios. Now they look to step up against the new Catch Republic, a new team looking to make their shine, looking to make their grind right here on Raw. And ladies and gentlemen, this one's going to be very, very interesting, and not because the new Catch Republic is a new team, not because the Undisputed Era have something to prove here in Universe Mode. No, this is interesting because what we are seeing right now are two teams who have went against each other but in a different way. Now, Pete Dunne has went against the likes of the Undisputed Era in the past but just in a different form as his old tag team partner was Ridge Holland as Holland is one of our free agents here in Universe Mode and we are ready to get right into the nitty gritty as here we go it is going to be Butch or excuse me Pete Dunne as his old name was Butch here in Universe Mode starting off here against Roderick Strong and a knee right to the back as usually you see Roderick Strong do that to the members of anybody he is going against is Roderick Strong now looking to Looking to turn this one around. The early ons here looking to make Pete Dunn tap out in this one. As I wonder if Pete Dunn's going to be able to survive over the commercial break as we are going to be back right after this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this Friday on Mayhem as we are coming to you guys live with the Mayhem Go Home Show going into the Mayhem at the Beach Show. It is going to be an epic six-man tag match as AOP and Dijak will be teaming up to take on the Alpha Academy. Who is going to be able to walk away in this ongoing faction warfare on Friday nights? Find out this Friday on Mayhem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break. And as you see, not only has Pete Dunn taken back control from being uh, put in a submission maneuver before the commercial break, but now he is just continuing to put that pain on Roderick Strong as I ate my words there. Strong turning this around. Him and Bobby Fish with a beautiful double shoulder tackle. Both these men absolutely on top of their game here tonight looking to do what they have to do, and you can't blame them. You cannot blame them at all whatsoever as you see now. Oh, my God. 
Man, oh man, what a what a, a turn of events we are seeing. What a what a display of maneuvers that we are seeing here tonight when it comes down to Bobby Fish here tonight. As Bobby Fish is the uh, consistent part of the Undisputed Era, believe it or not. He has been the guy that's been around. He's been the one that's been doing his thing. And look at that now as Pete Dunn blocks that off, says no to that one, not allowing him to do what he wants to do there. And oh my God, Pete Dunn firing away. Dunn firing away, not playing any games here tonight on one half of the Undisputed Era on Bobby Fish. This one has gotten personal very, very fast. As look at that now, ducking down low, looking to pop over. Beautiful work there by Pete Dunn, and Dunn now catches him with a beautiful headbutt. Pete Dunn not playing any games here tonight, and now stomping down on those knees. Looking to make this one the beginning of the absolute end here tonight as Tyler Bate is in the ring, and he is ready to go. Bait now top rope looking to do a little bit of cleanup here tonight as look at that knee strike from the top rope and look at that now Bobby Fish moving out of the way dragging the arm right into the ground beautiful not only ring awareness but the IQ by Bobby Fish knowing exactly where he is at knowing exactly where he needs to be at and bringing him right into the corner of the Undisputed Era here tonight as look at this now oh man Undisputed Era double shoulder tackle again now Roderick Strong in control, looking to turn this one around here for the Undisputed Era as Bobby Fish wasn't doing too well. As look at this now, wins to the cover, no. Man, oh man, look at this, continuing the dominance here tonight as Roderick Strong is, and now it looks to turn his attention to Pete Dunne and does so successfully. But right as he went down for that kick, Tyler Bate took advantage and got a little bit of a receipt back. Big boy indeed as Tyler Bate isn't playing any games here tonight the new catch republic is ready to go and they oh man as Roderick Strong makes me eat my words makes me eat my words bad as look at this now taking over and taking control as I was gonna say the new catch republic win lose or draw listen they're doing what they gotta do to be that main point be that main state here on Raw as you see now oh Man, I thought it was going to be all she wrote there as the Boston crowd was locked in by Roderick Strong, but Pete Dunne said absolutely no, no. He wanted none of it, and you can't blame him. As look at this now, Roderick Strong turning the tides here tonight. Looking to turn him around, looking to turn him away. What's going down as uh, catching him? Right on those knees. If you know the knees of Roderick Strong, you know that is the beginning of the absolute end. Wow, dominant and emphatic right when it seemed like there was a small slither inside for the new catch Republic to walk away with the victory. The Undisputed Era, they got to work. And if you ask me, I think that they're next in line for those tag team titles as the Undisputed Era. Well, they're continuing to stay on top here in universe mode. Oh man. Oh man. What the hell? It's Cash! It's Dax! It's FTR! What the hell are they doing? We haven't seen FTR since WrestleMania Season 2 here in Universe Mode after they lost the tag team titles to the Usos. Oh man, oh man, with a microphone in hand. You see, me and my brother here, Dax, for a long while, we've been going and out. We've been hurt, but WrestleMania season's over and we are back and we are better than ever in the WWE Universe may be confused why FTR is coming out here to confront the Undisputed Era, but we'll paint the picture, we'll fill in the gaps. You see, backstage, since FTR arrived, there's been a lot of politics, especially when it comes down to the tag team division. A lot of politics, a lot, a lot, a lot, and that... That is something that FTR isn't about. There's a lot of teams back there politicking their way to championship matches. There's a lot of teams out there getting championship shots before they even should be given championship shots. And you know, FTR is sick and tired of it. So since nobody likes to follow the rules around here, let me lay it out for you. Because as I count, as FTR counts, you guys are 3-0 here in Season 3. But you see, FTR, 
FTR's old do a title rematch, a title rematch clause that is in our contracts, that is in everybody's contract for the tag team championships that we lost at WrestleMania. So, you know, FTR, we're going to recognize real. We're going to be completely honest with you. You're an up and coming. You're a great tag team. Hell, you might be next in line, but you are not number one contenders. FTR is. FTR talked to Adam Pierce, and next week, myself and Dax Hardwood will be going two on two with the Bloodline, the Usos, and we will be getting back our tag team championships. Now, it's up to you if you want to keep this streak up, if you want to keep fighting, and if you want to meet us at SummerSlam, then we will be honored to wrestle you. But as far as you taking our spot, you can think twice about it. Well, so much going down backstage when it comes down to the women's division. But ladies and gentlemen, as advertised, as promised, and as delivered, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. He is the glorious one. He is our former Intercontinental Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Roberts Rude. You want to talk about aura? You want to talk about presence? You want to talk about acting like the champion, having presentation like a champion when you are not the champion? You want to talk about a guide of how to be a superstar? You look at Robert Rude as this man was one of our pillars here in universe mode and he made a very very long break as he was recovering from injury and now that he is back 100 percent he is ready to go and although he was unsuccessful in defeating la knight a few weeks back on raw he has been confirmed to go one-on-one -on -one with our newest Raw signee and Swerve as Swerve and Rude will go down for the first time ever here in Universe Mode history next week at Raw at the beach. Things only heat up from here. You were promised a must-watch season and that is exactly what is being delivered and tonight when these two men step face to face it will mean so much more as the crowd the crowd is absolutely losing it because whose house swerves house Ladies and gentlemen, the hometown Seattle boy, he was not here last week in the arena, but here tonight in Austin, Texas, they are sharing the love as Swerve has arrived. This right here is going to be a test to see who has the patience. If you're going against Robert Roode, you're going to have to have a lot of patience because Robert Roode is quick for the mind game. She is quick for the little throws, the little jabs. And tonight, we are seeing these two men face to face for the final time until they go and collide one on one inside the wrestling circle. The crowd is here for it. I'm here for it. You sitting at home are here you know, for it. The entire world has been chanting it because they know it's true. Now this may not be the Seattle show from last week, but this is still Swerve's house. And you and I both know that. 
Deep down inside you know that, but for some reason you keep fighting this mental fight and it's only with yourself. Because I'm not about talking, I'm about fighting, I'm about action and when I step into the ring with you next week, you're gonna see that action. You're gonna see me step into the ring with you and you're gonna see me beat you. You're gonna see somebody step into the ring with you that is on a completely different level than you. You see, wrestling's evolved since you've been champion. Wrestling has evolved, evolved since season one of Universe Mode, and I am that evolution. I am the next chapter of Universe Mode. I am one day that man that'll main event WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. But tonight, next week, SummerSlam, I will be number one contender. So what, I gotta go through you? I gotta go through LA Knight? You two are the two biggest gimmick wrestlers I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, so what? They chant Swerve's house. So what? They know who I am. So what? Prince not out behind me dances, but when it comes into the ring, I deliver. You don't deliver. LA Knight doesn't deliver. He got lucky like you got cocky. Neither of you are focused. And next week, you're going to see how focused I am. And at SummerSlam, LA Knight is going to see exactly how focused I am. You know, you spew your nonsensical garbage about being a guy that's all about action. About being the guy that people look at differently in the locker room because you are a different breed of superstar. But you know the truth, Swerve? You're no different than I am. You're new, you're hungry, and you're violent. And you want nothing more than to win the Intercontinental Championship. I know that hunger, I know that strive, I know that fight because I have been there. The difference between me and you is when I got that opportunity, I capitalized. Now, I'm not talking about a few weeks ago. I'm talking about back when I first won the championship. And then when I defended it successfully at WrestleMania, I am talking about actual highlights of my career. Unlike you, before you stepped foot here at WrestlePlus under a full-term contract, you wrestled one other pay-per-view. A pay-per-view that I sat back on my couch while I was injured and I watched just like the rest of the world did. And it was the No Mercy pay-per-view and you and Adam Cole, you guys put on one hell of a fight. What some people would argue to say, the 20-minute classic that made the Intercontinental Championship. And you see, with that right there, that I don't agree with. Because that title was made when I won it. When I beat Sheamus for it. Last year at Raw Old School, that title was made with the entire world singing how glorious I am on the grandest stages of them all. You see, me and you, there's no difference. But then again, there is so much difference. You see, we may be the same by character, but when it comes down to accomplishments, you do not hold a candle to me. And next week, you are going to see exactly how dangerous I am. You're going to see exactly how violent I am. Because you're going to find out, like everybody else, that there is room for more at the top. Unless you are Robert Rude. And if that's the case, that means I hold all the glory. So I will see you next week. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it goes down next week. It is going to be Swerve going one-on-one -on -one with Robert Roode. And the winner of this matchup goes one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion himself, LA Knight, at our next pay-per-view, SummerSlam, taking place in July. As this one is going to be a damn, damn good battle. We've seen what they had to say to each other on the stick. And now we got to see what's next on Universe Mode as we continue the show. But ladies and gentlemen, the action does not stop there because inside your main event, it's big, it's huge. As Claudio Castanoli is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the aerial assassin himself, Will Ospreay. These two men will collide as coming up next, we will see women's action as Tiffany Stratton will go one-on-one -on -one with the Liv Morgan. This one's been brewing since last week. Let's see how it goes down. I think it's time for us to conduct some bloodline business. I don't know if you've seen what went down earlier tonight, but FTR is back. They're back, and they want your titles. You know how much of a threat they were last time. I don't want to worry about them. I don't need to worry about them. I don't even need either of you to tell me not to worry about them. I just don't want to worry about them. Adam Pierce told the wise man to tell me, and now I am telling you next week, you will face them in their rematch 
for the World Tag Team Championships. I just gifted you those new golds. Do not lose those championships for the second time to FTR because like I said a few weeks ago, failure is not an option in the bloodline. So next week, you're going to beat FTR. I'm going to beat Braun Breaker. And it's going to be unforgiven all over again. We're going international and the bloodline will come out on top. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we only have one week to go and one week until we get the third match in the trilogy as FTR will be going two-on-two -two with the Usos. The first one went down this past December at Raw Anniversary. The second one went down at WrestleMania Season 2. And the third is coming your way at the beach as we are going to the Bay Arena in Germany. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in our arena here in Austin, Texas. I want to thank each and every single one of you for stopping by. If you haven't done so so far, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And most definitely subscribe for more content on the channel, as more content is most definitely coming you guys' way. But ladies and gentlemen, to focus on this one here tonight, this one came after last week when we seen uh, Liv Morgan watching Asuka's ongoing battle. And what a battle it definitely was. But in the end, we end up seeing uh, Liv Morgan get confronted by Tiffany Stratton as Liv Morgan has been lobbying herself to win that women's championship to be that next challenger for Asuka and uh, well let's just say the women's division is not ready to wait in line Tiffany Stratton wants her time as ladies and gentlemen if you haven't checked the clock it is Tiffy time here on Raw it's gonna be damn damn good the crowd has their cameras out and we are ready to see greatness in Tiffany Stratton but will she be able to beat a woman who's not only been on the rise here in Universe Mode, but has a lot to lose since losing at Unforgiven? And here she is as Liv Morgan. I said it before and I'll say it again. Has a lot to lose in this one. And she absolutely, I say it, absolutely needs this victory here tonight. And she wants to call herself number one contender because Asuka looks to defend that championship next week. And this right here, I can basically almost call it an unofficial number one contenders match as Liv Morgan wants Asuka. And she knows she's got to earn Asuka. But Tiffany Stratton has been another one who has been lobbying for that women's championship. So tonight, tonight is the perfect matchup to see who was ready for that next step, who was ready for Asuka as we are going to have to go on commercial break. We'll be right back right after this. With this rivalry ongoing, who is going to be able to gain momentum on the other person as tonight inside your main event, Claudio Castanoli is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the aerial assassin himself, Will Ospreay. Can Claudio Castanoli lead the new BCC in a new era here on Raw? Or will Ospreay walk away with the victory once again? Find out in your main event. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break. You did not miss any of the action because this one, well, this one, ladies and gentlemen, is getting right underway. As look at this now, Liv Morgan throwing herself right at Tiffany Stratton and just knocking her down. But as you've seen over the commercial break inside your main event, it will be Claudio Castanoli going one-on-one -on -one with Will Ospreay as that has been a back-and-forth rivalry for a ongoing last couple of weeks here in Universe Mode. Beautiful work there as look at that and look at this. Man, oh man, that is what you want to see there by Liv Morgan. That is exactly what Asuka wants to see. As she, That is exactly what Asuka said she wants to see. She wants to see anger. She wants to see violence. She wants to see Liv Morgan take her opponent to the same uh, 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 side, the same side that she took Asuka, the same side that she got out of Asuka. She wants to bring out of her opponents. And Liv Morgan is proving that to be so here tonight. As look at that now, Tiffany Stratton looking to turn this one around, looking to turn this one around as Liv Morgan may be needing to get humbled here tonight. I eat my words as Morgan says no, she wants absolutely none of it. Beautiful Irish whip there by Morgan looking to bring Tiffany to the outside of the ring and does so. Does so successfully. Beautiful work there by Liv Morgan and Morgan now looking to go. Looking to go to work, looking to clean up a little bit here tonight as she is not playing any games when it comes down. And oh my God. What did I tell you? What the hell did I tell you? When it comes to Liv Morgan, when it comes to the moves in her arsenal, she is just somebody that is, well, she's built different to say the least. Let's look at this now. Morgan top, bro. What does she have in mind here tonight for Tiffany Stratton? Sent on by Morgan. One, two, no. Staying alive, staying alive. It seems like Tiffany and Liv have been watching the women's division over on Friday nights, and they've seen the banger 
that Cora Jade and Bianca Belair put on, and they are looking to follow pursuit in their own very way. Beautiful work there by Liv Morgan. And oh, Tiffany catches her right on the button. Right on the button, exactly where she needs to be. And now Tiffany Stratton not only has Liv where she needs to be, but has Liv Morgan in an opportunity right now that she can capitalize on, has her in a, in a position right now, excuse me, as an opportunity has opened for Tiffany Stratton here tonight. Beautiful work there by Stratton as she continues to dominate and dominate wisely as she is doing. As look at this now, once again, decimating and dominating as she does so all so well here in universe mode and she continues it on. Beautiful kick up there by uh, Tiffany Stratton, excuse me, as Liv Morgan. Using that speed, getting her ass right out of the way and taking advantage. But look at once again, once again, when it comes down, when it comes down to these two women, they just seem to have an answer back and forth as they go. An answer seems to be there as look at that sidewalk slam by Tiffany Stratton to Liv Morgan. This one was brought up by nothing but words, but it seems like words is all it takes. Stratton doing things that some women wish they can do. Boom, right on the money. If I'm Tiffany Stratton, I am finding a way to survive this match. I am finding a way to keep Liv Morgan down so she can get to the top rope and hit that prettiest moonsault. Tiffany Stratton right now is in a point in this matchup where she is in desperation. And as you've seen right when she was about to go right on the top, you seen right there, right there, Liv Morgan had that ring IQ moved right out of the way. Very smart there by Liv Morgan as Morgan now looking to take the fire to Stratton, but Stratton says no. Beautiful head right there. Listen, man, she's going to have to clean up and she's going to have to do it fast and she's going to have to make it look good. When it comes down to Tiffany Stratton right now, she is on borrowed time. As look at this now, top rope as she goes. What does she have in store here tonight for Liv Morgan? As Morgan gets caught with a cross body. Cross body making it look good while she does it. Liv Morgan is in absolute trouble here tonight. Tiffany Stratton needs to find a way to get her back inside the ring and capitalize on this right here. But oh, Liv Morgan takes advantage of exactly what I was just saying as now Morgan is trying to take control of this one and she is doing exactly that. If I am Tiffany Stratton, I am very, very worried. As look at this now, back inside the ring as they go. Beautiful, beautiful work. That is exactly what you want to see. That is exactly what you need to see. As oh man, oh man, Liv Morgan now. Morgan in her element. Morgan knows exactly what she wants to do and how she wants to do it. As you see, she is fired up here tonight. And oh man, oh man. Oh, looks to go down low, but missed out there as uh, Tiffany Stratton had her perfectly executed. Bringing her down low now. Wait a minute. Oh my God. One, two, wow. I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what the hell that was, but it was beautiful. It was damn, damn beautiful. Up and down goes Morgan. Liv Morgan wanted competition. She wanted everybody to remember her name. Well, they will. They will remember it to Tiffany Stratton. Wow, 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 what a match we are seeing here tonight, bouncing right off of the ropes, going there for an elbow, missed out, Morgan catches her, Oblivion, into the cover, no, <laughs> Tiffany, Stratton, ladies and gentlemen, and Tiffany Stratton is surviving. Liv Morgan, top rope, Satan. One, two, no. I think Liv's face is the same as all of ours here tonight. Tiffany Stratton brought her A game here tonight. Tiffany Stratton is in her bag here tonight. 
Stratton has absolutely no intention of losing, and neither does Liv. As look at this now, Tiffany Stratton takes advantage. Big kicks to the face. Quick cover. Desperation cover, if I do say so myself, and no. Man, oh man, even off of the desperation cover, still nothing, nothing, nothing. These two women absolutely going. Pouncing her down. The strength by Tiffy. I mean, seriously, my God, what we are seeing here tonight is nothing short than beautiful as Stratton now flies. Tiffany Stratton here tonight flying on Raw in Texas. But ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have to do a commercial break. We'll be right back right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, as confirmed for your main event of Raw at the Beach, it'll be for the WWE Championship as Roman Reigns will be stepping foot in the Bay Arena. He will be live in Germany as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the badass himself. His name is Braun Breaker. And it goes down in your main event of next week's epic, epic, epic show. It'll be Raw at the Beach. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back from commercial break, and look at this now as Tiffany Stratton continuing to stay in control with a massive shoulder block taking down Liv Morgan right there as this match has been very, very back and forth. But towards the end and now start from the commercial break, it has been all Tiffany Stratton as Stratton has been taking control, being dominant as she should, bringing her up to the shoulders. What does Tiffany have in store? Beautiful work by Stratton into the cover, using the ropes to her advantage, but the referee seen it. The referee seen the feet, and he was not allowing Tiffany Stratton to cheat here tonight. Liv Morgan bounces her off of the ropes, kicks her down, makes it look damn good. Stratton trying to climb up to her feet. Liv Morgan sees her exactly where she wants to see her. Of Oblivion! Right time, right opportunity. Liv Morgan showed here tonight that she is ready for that upper echelon. She is ready for Asuka. Wow, as, what, what, what the hell? Wait a minute, look at this. We're backstage, we have to come backstage. Adam Cole, Adam Cole is attacking CM Punk right now. As, wait a minute, wait a minute, no. Cole, not like this. Oh my God. Cole. Adam Cole with a Panama Sunrise to see him bunk on the concrete. We need somebody to go check on them. As this is set to go down next week, it is going to be Adam Cole going one-on-one -on -one with CM Punk as we are going to have to get medical officials to confirm if Punk can even wrestle. I mean, what the hell's wrong with him? And wow, this was just confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. The Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, is ready, and she is ready to take on Liv Morgan. And coming up, it is time for your main event. It is going to be Claudio Castanoli, Will Ospreay clashing one on one it goes down right here right now tonight tonight i stand up against a man who calls himself a swiss superman but to be honest claudio you have and you will always be nothing more than a lackey even when you're standing in front with people surrounded around you, at some point those people who surround themselves around you will understand their worth and understand that they are better than you. Tonight I aim to get one step closer to that. Tonight I aim to show Seth Rollins and Wheeler Yuta that you aren't anything special. You are just a manipulator in tonight. Tonight, no, now, I prove that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back out here in Austin, Texas, and we are ready to go in the Raw Zone as it's time for your main event. It is going to be Claudio Castanoli going one-on-one -on -one with Will Ospreay. Ladies and gentlemen, since making the shield, the BCC, Claudio Castanoli has brought it and he has made it a dangerous, dangerous group with Seth Rollins and Wheeler Yuta standing behind Claudio Castanoli in this new club, this Blackpool Combat Club. It has been named dangerous. It has been different. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a reincarnation of a once dominant shield. And tonight, tonight, Osprey is going to be in for the fight of his life. Ladies and gentlemen, if it lives, 
it breathes your aerial assassin will osprey man oh man what an absolute banger this is gonna be a swiss superman versus an aerial assassin one week away from raw at the beach ladies and gentlemen if you ask me this is the best way to bring you guys a go home show to talent that are gonna absolutely tear the house down in your commercial free main event here tonight this one is gonna be absolutely good. The last time we saw Will Ospreay inside the squared circle, it was a couple of weeks ago, right before the Unforgiven pay-per-view, when Ospreay went one-on-one -on -one with Wheeler Yuta, getting his pin back from when Ospreay pinned Yuta back at the Raw, where the tag team match took place. And what a tag team match it was when Will Ospreay teamed up with the American Nightmare Cody Rose to take on the BCC. And although losing, the war continues with Osprey Rhodes in the Blackpool Combat Club. It is a war that has been going on and on and on. It is a war that seemingly has had no end, but it is a war nonetheless. And in war, there are battles. And here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you are seeing exactly that. One of the very battles that we see inside the square circle as this one is right underway. We are going to waste absolutely no time. And oh! Look at that now, it's Claudio Castanoli. Beautiful double backbreaker there to Will Ospreay. I want to remind each and every single one of you once again, as I did earlier tonight, this is a commercial free main event as we are getting to you guys live with the action. And we are just looking to go, go, and go. As Look at this now, beautiful stomp there by Will Ospreay. As, oh man, beautiful work there by Ospreay. Now looking to do a little bit of cleanup here to Claudio Castanoli. Beautiful work there. As you see, Yuta tried to grab the foot of Will Ospreay didn't work out too well for him. And oh my God, making that leg hurt. And oh, wait a minute. This time gets him as the shield. We know they're going to be a very, very, very big factor in this one. Now look at this. Oh man. Claudio Castanoli cleaning up a little bit, doing whatever the hell he has to do because Claudio Castanoli understands at the end of the day, at the end of the hour, no matter what show you walk into, when you step into the ring with a man like Will Ospreay, you have to bring your A game. You have to bring the best fight that you can possibly bring because this guy is named the Aerial Assassin for a reason. He is going to hit you and he is going to hit you hard. As look at this now, Ospreay looking to take more control in this matchup right here as the guy who grabbed his foot, Wheeler Yuta, can definitely attest to how hard Osprey hits as we've seen those two men, you know, mangle it up a little bit inside the square circle. And look at that! Osprey with a Superman elbow from the top row, not playing any games here tonight. Once again, man, oh man. We talked about dominance in the past. We talk about uh, the work that, that, that these guys put in each and every single day of the week. And now we are seeing it put in here. My God, look at that. Absolutely beautiful work we are seeing here tonight when it comes down to the Swiss Superman. I mean, first there was a, a straight kick that was heard around the world by the Aerial Assassin, then a strike, or, or no, excuse me, a huge suplex by Castanoli. Both men getting back in on the count of eight, understanding the importance of this one. And now as this one carries on inside your main event, if you haven't done so so far, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more as this one is going down. One, two, and no. Castanoli somehow, some way finds a way to stay alive. And wait a minute now, Osprey not smart going on the side of the, the side of the BCC. If you ask me, that is uh, definitely not smart to say the least. As look at this now, taken back in control is, oh, Claudio Castanoli, but so is Wheeler Yuta, as both men are absolutely on the attack here tonight. No games are being played here tonight. These two men understanding what needs to get done, and you see, oh, Claudio Castanoli continuing to be that dominant force here in the men's division in Universe Mode. As look at this now, Yuta, Yuta cheering on for Claudio Castanoli as Castanoli drives the boots into the face of ooh, Will Ospreay. And now you see Yuta once again using the distraction of the referee. The fact that the referee is focused and honed in on the match. He is using that to his advantage and he is using it to his advantage to get the turnbuckle undone. And oh! Oh my God, Osprey getting brought into the turnbuckle. Luckily, not the turnbuckle that Yuta might have wanted for him. And oh! He got him that time. Will Osprey's throat 
being just taken down and just, oh my god, that was absolutely devastating. I mean, come on, what we're seeing here tonight is nothing short than absolutely absolute brutality. As look at that. Castanoli off the ropes, clubs down and hits hard. As into the cover he goes, but the referee, the referee is taking care of the, the damage being done to the ring. As that might have backfired there on the BCC. And look at this now as Claudio Castanoli continuing the onslaught, continuing the attack. And oh! Couple of kicks and a big strike to the face. And that right there put down the aerial assassin after everything Claudio's been through. Going against Cody Rhodes a few weeks back. Caught by the assassin. Oh! Well, I was going to say going against the man we know as the American Nightmare. Going against the Tribal Chief and the King of the Ring. Those experiences have taught Castanoli, or have they? It's over, no! Well, it definitely seems like their experiences that Claudio Castanoli learned from as Castanoli goes down and goes down hard. And oh, you see the BCC once again coming in to help, to help Claudio Castanoli, not allowing Castanoli to do what he needs to do by himself. As oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at this. Castanoli now looking to do a little bit of cleanup here tonight as no, no, Will Ospreay says no, fights back, hit it, blade, it has got to be over, out of nowhere, and he does it, I said it before, and I'll say it again, if it lives, it, oh no, Osprey with straight middle fingers, the wheeler, Yuta, Yuta going for a strike, but Osprey moving him, big strike by Osprey, but moves it all, Rollins caught him with a knee and now a big slap to the chest there by Will or Yuta. Not allowing, not allowing Will Ospreay to celebrate. Look at this, curb style. Talk about standing tall. Oh man, oh man. This, this is what we wanted to see. The American Nightmare, he's here, he's here. He promised Will Ospreay he would help, and help is what he is doing as the American Nightmare kept his word, and he is here on Raw, going right after Will or Yuta. And look at this, meanwhile, Ospreay has Rollins up, Stormbreaker. A Stormbreaker to end Raw as the good guys finally end on top have they finally done the do have they fought the fight and is the bcc in the rear view mirror well i don't know but what i do know is that next week inside your main event it's roman versus braun and that's not all as ftr are back and they are going after the usos and they want those world tag team championships and also we have to figure out who will take on la night at SummerSlam. who will it be swerve or robert rude and when it comes to women's action it does not go anywhere because oscar will be putting the title on the line in a long-awaited rematch with Liv morgan and also a dream match by many around the world Adam Cole CM Punk one on one and just now confirmed it'll be a rematch of sorts as the BCC will be taking on Cody Rhodes Will Ospreay a tag team rematch but this time instead of Will or Yuta being in the fray it'll be Seth freaking Rollins it goes down next week right here on Monday Night Raw